Um, okay, so now stepper motors. So we've got the, the x-axis, which is the, the extruder axis, y-axis, which is, so we're kind of like starting to wind things through the hole. So this is, you kind of got to get it all nice and neat. But this one, <laughs> this one. It gets um, the house in order. The, so that's the Z, that's on a vertical axis. This one happens to be the bed. This one happens to be the X. So you got three sets of wires that look like this. They have a four pin connector. Um, the nice thin ones are nice, but also the, the white ones are a little thicker. They're, they also work too. Uh, the thin ones actually, if you have two Z axes, that's the only thing that will fit on a Z. That's the Z right there. But we've got these four stepper drivers. So you have to look at which one is which. Like if this is the bed, that's the Y. So this is X, Y, Z. Uh, that's the way we arranged it. Uh, this is Y and Y as well, so Y1, Y2, but we're not, we're not using the other Y since we have only one axis. So we said y, y for this. Okay, so this four set of four here. Now, it could go one way or the other. How do you know? You don't. We, uh, because of, that will be determined by how you're connecting the belts. Like, the belt hole is in one direction versus the other, it will move one way or the other. Now you can set it up in a build time where you say, oh, I know the belt peg. Do you guys understand that? If, if the belt peg is attached one side or the other, the motion will be either one direction or the other. Um, yeah, does it make sense? Yeah. The belt peg? Yeah, if you, so, so one side of the, the carriage is loose, it's just going through. Yeah. So it depends which side, whether this side of the belt is pulling, one side or the other part of the belt is pulling, depend, yeah. determines which direction the carriage is going to move. So mm. it does. It's Think about it. <clears throat> it's just pulling on this string. Yeah, string. it's pulling on one side or the other. So, yeah, it's doing that. <laughs> but it can still only go kinesthetic. <laughs> it goes two directions. <clears throat> and yeah, you, know, you need to get um, it coordinated. Okay. We yeah, and that's but determined by the direction of the wire. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, we can understand that later. But what's what's important for that is that during the build, there's so many things you're already taking taking attention to that we found that you'll never like. Don't worry about it. We will just flip the plug. It's easier to flip the plug than rework the the axis, right? If you get it wrong. So don't worry about it at the stage of the build. We'll just plug it one way. Or the other way, 180 degrees. Now that will be actually pretty straightforward because when once we then get into the screen and say, okay, we're gonna home the axes, they should go to home. What's home? Well, home is the end stop. End stop is that way. So you'll see immediately by hitting home if it's going in the right direction. If it's not, you you turn off the power, flip the plug. That's what we're gonna do, and that's an easy way to do it. You don't have to worry about any of the conventions. Right there, so okay, so moving on, the Z, Z I'm gonna plug into the Z axis. And those connections are kinda tiny, so you kinda gotta make sure that you're on the four wires. If you get three of them on, it'll be just, it won't move, and you'll be like, what's going on? But those are a little tiny. Okay, uh, then the X, X is the first one. So and they're tiny. It helps to have a light headlight here to put them on. Um, yeah. Um, cool. So that's the. Yeah, um, so X, Y, Z. Now we also have the extruder, so let's get into our bundle. That's got uh, the extruder in there. Um, part of this one here is the same type of wire, four wire. These are all four wires for the extruders, um, for the steppers. So that's the extruder, so we'll plug it in again. And once, once again, you don't know which is right or wrong. It will suck the filament in if it's the wrong way, if it will extrude the filament out if it's the right way. We'll test that upon saying, okay, now test it, move the extruder, and you'll see that it's either pushing or pulling the right, right or wrong. Uh, Martin, is this the one that has the crossed wires? 
Ah, uh, okay. And let's no, talk was, about that. So some of these one wires, one you have to check one end and the other for the orientation, uh, the direction of them. So here we have black, green, red, blue. The other end needs to be the same sequence as well. And is it? Uh, so read off, Tom, what's the, what's the pattern there? Black, green, red, blue. Okay, they're the same. So that's fine, that will work. But, but sometimes you'll be confused, like say a motor's not moving, some of the wires might be uh, reversed. In which case you have to take a, a little needle and take out, uh, actually take out, these wires come out of this, this uh, DuPont connector socket. Okay, but for now, let's, uh, that's all good. So now let's talk about all the other wires in the bundle here. So first, the, ob 